Uh, I'm not quite sure what he's doing. Okay, today we're just going to be playing with this MK Mortar Inferno Dragon Concoction. I mean, top 200, yeah, so not too high. This deck, it, it's quite special. I feel like it's got a lot of outplay potential with a lot of interesting spells, interesting combinations you can make, but it's, it's also not very good. So I would not recommend you try this at home. But the first game against Ed, a lot of these players, I feel like, especially given the imminence of all the the boosted players on top ladder at the moment. I just don't know who they are. But yeah, the RG, I really love the Infernal Dragon in this current meta. I think it's one of the better cards. You know, even if he goes for Phoenix, that's dead, so it's not that much he can do. A ghost, let's see, Skellies maybe. Ah, oh, he has to use his Phoenix eventually. And in this deck, I feel like the Cannoneer Tower, if you have it, is better. But you know, not necessary. Just better. And yeah, we can use our zap. We don't have the Evo zap in this deck since I feel like Wall Breakers plus the Evo Mortar combo just works slightly better. The Evo zap is a very sort of situational, so it's not the best in this. But okay, that makes no sense. Goes for an RG opposite lane. I mean, he'll get a few hits, but I really don't think it's worth it. He's gonna cause himself a lot of problems on defense here. Because he has to go for his Phoenix. And then we can go for a little a delayed little prince, what's it called? The Guardian or something. Yeah, that's quite a lot of hits. Actually, let's try and get some wall breakers as well on the tower potentially. Yeah, nice. And so that's a good amount of damage. We could leave one more to if he goes for an RG. He's definitely outcycled our Scar deck is so slow. But that's fine. Yeah, I was considering zapping, now I realize the evil mortar shot just gonna kill it anyways. So we take one RG hit. Oh, what a beautiful defense. No hits at all. That is delightful. And once again, force out the Phoenix. See what I mean? Every time this in front of Dragon, kill an RG plus get a Phoenix. I can't ask for more. And so we're gonna go into our weak side with the MK. Since we can always just little friend possibility if he goes for an RG into our strong side. Hoping he uses his ghost. Ah. See now we can get this through. Oh arrows as well, interesting. Yeah, looks like that's not getting any damage, but it's fine. Evil skellies, that's a good zap, nice and quick. And then um, we're just gonna get our little prince going on that RG. We'll take a couple of hits. Maybe just the one, let's see. Now, uh, one more than I was hoping, but it's fine. It's fine. And now, actually, using this little prince ability, plus he has to use he has to use his arrows. You might want to RG this. Yeah, this is a pretty nice push. Oh no, he's got two phoenixes. We might be in trouble. We might be in trouble. We're definitely in trouble now. Uh, the evil mortar. Never mind. We managed to survive somehow. I mean, it's a lot of damage, but we're in a winnable position, I think. Let's see. The skellies come out. I want to get this MK on tower. The jump. Oh, okay, okay. We got the jump, so now. It's just about this final bit of damage. Can we get a minor on tower? Ooh. Trying to get the little prince ability onto the tower directly. That's outrageous. What a beautiful play. Using his own fisherman against him. Into the second game against someone I don't know. But, you know, until I'm like top 10, I'm not really going to know the majority of its players. But, if he wants to do that, yeah, I can get an MK down. I can have 10 elixir on the field in single if that's what he wants. Plus an Inferno Dragon. Let's see how he chooses to defend this. He lets that connect. Okay, it's looking like he's playing the cycle version of my deck if it was a real deck. That zap was useless since the banner gets one shot. 
this will be very tricky because our deck is so bad. <laughs> but let's see if we can pull something off. We'll go for our defensive mortar. And we'll kite the bandit. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's kind of all about surviving with this because we have to tornado bats. But we might be able to get some sort of mag majestic tornado through. Something quite magical. If he goes for Evo Warbreaker, yeah, yeah, I just have to let him on that out. Because, no, yeah, even if I went for Little Prince, I wouldn't have got the elixir for the ability in time. It's fine though. He's down a lot of elixir and. We should be able to defend this tower pretty well, actually. Doing it for the fam. Until the Evo Zap comes. Then, yeah, a little bit of a sticky situation. Um, excuse me, don't you know who I am? We'll just inform Drang the back. Let's see. It's quite an odd, quite an odd bar barrel. Also, pretty peculiar. Little Prince ability. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a pretty big push, but it's not gonna do anything. However, he did mess that up slightly. So, yeah, I mean, he still has to defend that Inferno Dragon with something. He goes for another Little Prince. And then the Zap. And let's see. And his bat's coming out. Go for a mortar. We've got a little principality down, plus an MK. If that mortar gets on tower, all of a sudden, maybe we have a chance. Where are the bats? Where are his bats? I know he wants to play them. Uh uh. Let's go for the evil mortar. We're almost actually. Oh, yeah, we've got enough damage. Straight into the next game against Ian77. Interesting to see what he might come up with. Probably expecting quite a typical cycle deck, but Rage. It, yeah, it's on the best hand, so we'll have to cycle our zap. And then we'll be playing maybe RG, something like that. He did miss, he misses Little Prince though. And so let's go for our little prince in this lane, and his will get too short if he chooses to do nothing, which is his choice. Let's kite this one skelly, yeah. Uh, I'm not quite sure what he's doing. Because if we zap, that's going to get a few more hits. That's tower, what a beautiful zap. Every single game in this video, just making the majestic plays. I mean, yeah, and Fishman gets two shots before it gets to the cannon near tower. So, to be honest, I'm just gonna sit back and try and defend if I can. The cycle is really quite awkward in this deck, so it might not be possible. But let's see. Yeah, I'm happy when this like goes for mine is really what I'm looking for actually. Because that sort of fix in my cycle allows me to go wall breakers behind. He has the arrows, perfect. Perfect. He's sort of falling into my traps every time. What up? Future king over here. And like I was saying before, the Inferno Dragon just offers so much value. You asked yeah, I'll protect the little prince. A good Evo Bomber. But we managed to zap for only one shot, which is nice. And now let's see. Yeah, I mean, that's actually gonna be no hits on our tower. So, a nice in front of her. Um, <laughs> we're just sort of protecting our tower the best we can. Ooh, we've got the evil Warbreakers now, and he just wasted his arrows. He's trying, he's going to spell cycle us. That's a lot of damage. That is a lot of damage. So let's see, maybe we can defend. 
I think he should be able to get the spells he needs. Yeah, that's one arrows plus one rage. So he really should get it. And I think he knows it. But now we need to see what we can do in the two tower game. He has to waste his rage. He has to play it. Now let's see. In front of Dragon in the middle. The little prince is on tower actually. Okay. Okay, I mean, that is a lot of stuff in this King Tower. And, ooh. Wave almost 3 con. Let's do this. And try and get some evil wall breakers. We're actually close to spell cycle range. Oh, the zap, the zap. We win. Great. How much does Tornado do? Ah! We managed to 3 crown him. Very, very interesting game there. Okay, into what I hope will be the final game. Because this has been quite miraculous gameplays. And I feel like it's a nice deck just to showcase sort of the importance of creativity. Actually, uh, I have to Mega Knight a Goblin Bar. Uh, Goblin Bar is going to cause me problems because I really just have nothing at all for it. Let's try and mine the Princess though. Yeah, I mean, that night missing the mortal was not great, and neither was the Tesla. Oh, the, the tornado doesn't activate. It's fine though. What I'm really trying to do is not take too much damage so we get into double when I can actually MK, uh, MK Goblin Barrel without dying, because then it will shoot the goblin here. And I can MK the other two and it's perfectly fine. But until that position... Yeah. Fine, skellies. Honestly, I'm just going to mortar. I want to force a Tesla. Yeah. Yeah, so kind of as predicted. I'll wait for the MK to jump before I... And now let's see, yeah, messed up the Evo Skellies, this might, if I can get this ability off, he's gonna be in trouble. Oh, oh, I don't know what he has for this, he's got nothing, no Tesla, no Knight, it's over. Get out of here, get out of here. I hope he lets me freak on him, because otherwise I could quite feasibly lose. Oh no, he's playing, he's playing, okay, let's just defend. I, I'm literally going, <laughs> Nice princess. <laughs> I'm honestly just going to tornado plus zap his next goblin. Oh, now I can afford an MK. Oh, that's on the wrong side. Wait, yeah, that's what I was thinking. If he plays it on that side, the mortar just kills it. What a what a silly man. And yeah, let's just, let's minor plus Zap, yeah. Only the one hit. Almost another three crown. This deck might just be three crown optimized. But yeah, that will end up for the video. I hope you enjoyed. I do try to create new decks and play them on top ladder where possible. Also, we'll be streaming soon, so look out for that. Anyways, let's, let's have a look at where, where we ended up. Because I feel like... That was just a nice easy four wins in a row. Check the battle log, look at that. Easy. End up, eh, top 100. Not bad.